Hey, what's up guys? It's at last here. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Astro A50s with the Elgato HD uh, game capture, the HD60. Um, and then also with the PlayStation 4 and we're going to be using a uh, Blue Snowball microphone to capture um, part of our audio as well as the A50 mic. So we're going to get party chat going, um, be able to hear everybody and bring it all together in a video or a stream for Twitch. So before we do that, um, we're going to need to go to the, if you haven't done this yet for the A50s, you're going to need to go to the Astro Gaming page. Um, this uh, link I'll put it in the description below, but um, you need to download a firmware upgrade uh, or update for your transmitter. So just download for whatever operating system you need. And then also for the A50 headset you need, um, for whatever operating system you need. Uh, you'll need to um, connect those via USB. Um, and it'll, t it'll give you step-by-step uh, -step instructions when you run the EXEs that download. But you just need to get the firmware um, up to date so that it can be used with your PS4. And then also you will need to um, grab the Game Capture HD software. Um, from the Elgato website under uh, support and I'll link this below as well so just download for whatever version you need and um, yeah let's let's get this working guys cool hey guys so we're gonna be uh, walking through how you set up the Elgato HD 60 um, to work with a PlayStation 4 and also um, I'm using Astro A50 uh, wireless headset so we're gonna um, set that up so that basically you have to have the A50s serving as your headset and the um, microphone for where you're recording on OBS or XSplit. And then you're going to have um, another microphone. I use the, uh, what is it, the Snowball, uh, the Blue Snowball um, as the microphone for the PS4. So we'll go into it um, in a little more detail right now. That's just kind of the overview. So first off, I've got my PS4 down here. Um, I'm not going to take it out, but from the PS4, let's go over HDMI cables first. So we have an HDMI that goes from the PS4, and it goes into the Elgato HD60. So this is the cord right here that comes from the PS4 and goes into the HDMI in. Then we have this HDMI over here that goes into a monitor. Uh, mine is this monitor. so. Um, right now it's set to DVI, but I can just hit uh, the button down here and I'll switch the input to HDMI so I can kind of use this. This is where I'll be watching um, the PS4. The other part of the HD60 is uh, this. This is a mini USB to um, regular USB, I believe. And this I plug right into the um, PC, into um, one of the USB slots so that the HD60 has power. Okay, so that's the setup for the Elgato. All right, so pardon the mess that's over here. I'm still doing a little cable management, but these are my Astro A50s. And um, how these are connected, uh, for what we're doing to work, you cannot connect the A50s through USB to your PS4. You do not want to do that. So the A50s, bring this out over here. Of course, it's tangled in the back. This is the mixer for the A50s, and uh, we only have two cables going here right now. Right, good God, here we go. I actually see what's happening. All right, so this is um, optical cable. This is how we're going to get audio from the PlayStation 4 to the Astro A50, uh, the transmitter or mixer, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this optical cable runs from the optical in of the transmitter, um, and it goes through the back of my uh, entertainment center to my PS4 in the back. So there's optical PS4 to the A50 transmitter. This is um, USB power. So this is, uh, I believe it's another mini. I don't know if it's mini or micro, but comes with the A50. Um, this just plugs into, you don't want to plug it into your PS4. Um, I just, you can plug it into a laptop uh, if there's a USB power outlet or something, but I just plugged it into one of the USB ports on my PC. Um, so that's the only two things you need to have here for the um, A50. And um, we'll move on in a sec. Alright, so we went through how the um, A50s are connected to the PS4 and how the Elgato um, is connected to both the PS4 and whatever monitor you're using in case, uh, in this case it's over here. Um, the last thing that we're going to have to do 
uh, for the setup to work so that we can get party chat from PS4 and um, be able to talk to people and then also get audio in our headset. That's that's the key. Um, is I have this um, USB microphone, the Blue Snowball. Um, you just take the cord that comes with it, plugs in the back, and uh, you're gonna plug that into your PS4. So the PS4 is going to use this as the microphone. Obviously, since it's a Bluetooth, or not Bluetooth, um, a USB microphone. And then um, your headset will be receiving audio. All right, so um, I am now going to show you what you need to do um, on the PS4 side. So um, first things first, before you even um, connect your Elgato or anything, um, you need to go to settings. You need to go all the way to the bottom, second to bottom, and uh, hit system. And you need to make sure that enable HDCP is turned off so that it's unchecked. Um, otherwise, the Elgato is not going to be able to grab your video feed. So we uncheck that, then we're going to go back. Uh, we're going to scroll up to sound and screen. Uh, we're going to go to the audio output settings. So this um, you're going to do um, after you've connected the Astro A50 um, to the PS4 via an optical cable. Um, so we're going to primary output port is just that the digital optical digital out optical cable. Sorry. Um, and then you only want the first option check, the Dolby Digital 5.1 uh, channel. So hit OK on that. And then um, so that we don't lose anything, we're going to select Bitstream Dolby. Um, the difference here is Linear PCM um, uses the onboard PlayStation uh, sound card or whatever they use on the motherboard um, to output the audio. And uh, Bitstream Dolby will use the A50 transmitter, which is uh, quite a bit better than the default that comes in the PlayStation. So we want to choose Bitstream Dolby here. Um, and that's pretty much it for the sound and screen. Once you have um, plugged in your um, microphone, in this case the blue snowball, to the front of the PS4, um, you will be able to go to devices and audio devices. And you can see here my input device is uh, set to USB blue snowball. Um, the output device is set to the TV or amp. It's on the option. Um, and if you need to, you can adjust your mic level here. You can see um, it's picking up when I'm talking. So, yeah, um, now we're going to move on to the um, settings within Open Broadcaster. So, um, yeah, thanks. All right, so now we're going to go through um, the settings that you need um, to capture the audio from your Astro A50 um, in OBS. So what's going to happen is, um, in the PlayStation Party Chat, they are going to hear you through the blue um, Snowball microphone that you plugged into the front of the PS4 via USB. And um, you are going to be talking to OBS um, through the Astro A50 mic. And uh, we're going to get everything synced up so that when the video comes out, it looks like you're talking and they're uh, responding at the, at the right time. So that's the way that we do this. Um, so. What I do, um, first things first, when we come in here, um, we're going to go to settings, and we're going to go to, well, yeah, let's do the whole thing. Uh, we're going to go to encoding first, and um, you want the first one selected, X264. You want to use CBR, and you want to enable CBR padding. Um, max bit rate, so I have it set to 5000 right now because I'm just recording a local copy. Um, I usually set mine, um, what do I have? I have like around a 3 um, MB upload, so I usually set this to 2500 when I stream, because I stream in 720p. Um, but we're going to leave that here for now. Um, that's what you would change to um, anywhere between 1500 would be kind of crappy quality, um, to 2500, um, that'd be a good range. There's a, a, what do you call it, a max bit rate uh, calculator on openbroadcastsoftware.com where you can calculate this number. Um, but then I would change the audio encoding from the bitrate down to 96. Not going to do that right now, but we would change it to 96. Uh, no. Um, broadcast settings. Go to live stream. Um, you enter your obviously your stream key. You pick your... Oh, we're, gonna, we're doing this for Twitch, so... Um, yeah, uh, what else do we need? This will all be on by default. Um, if you want, you can automatically save your stream to a MP4 file, which I always do. Um, 
So that's all that we need here. Going over to video, you choose your, um, this should auto be selected, this is your graphics card on your computer. Um, but this is going to auto populate with whatever your monitor resolution is, mine is um, full HD. So um, what you're probably going to want to do when you stream is to go to 1.5 here for the downscale so that you're streaming in 720. Um, if you have a good enough upload speed, you can just leave it as is. Um, but my upload isn't good enough to stream full HD without it lagging and looking like shit. So, um, yeah, I'd change this to 1.5. 1 Add the, or uh, change the filter to Lancazos. And the FPS, um, uh, the, if you have the HD60, it can capture 60 FPS. Um, but I'm just doing Destiny coverage right now, which only runs in 30. So, um, we're going to set the FPS to 30. And then audio, this is very important. So, for our microphone, we're going to choose the headset microphone. Um, it's from the Astro wireless transmitter. Um, and that is showing up because we are powering the wireless transmitter from our PC. Otherwise, um, this would not show up. So that's what we're going to have as our mic. Audio can be default. Um, and what I have to do for the A50s is set a mic offset of 1000 milliseconds, so one second. Um, and that is just so that my audio matches up um, with what's coming through the Elgato. So I set this to 1000. Um, I've seen people set it anywhere from 1000 to uh, 1500. So I just kind of have to play with that. Um, and then everything else we can just leave as is. Um, yeah. Alright, so uh, now we're going to take a look at um, what we need to do to actually pull the um, Elgato game feed into um, OBS. So I have made a scene here. I don't actually want to switch to it, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but I've made a scene here where um, you just, I mean, you just right-click, make a scene, you name it, um, and then you right-click on sources, click add, and you're going to add your uh, video capture device. We'll just give it a name, like Elgato Game Capture HD, and um, you need to choose just that from the device, Elgato Game Capture HD. Um, all of these options on the top should be fine. Um, leave the custom resolution and FPS as it comes through. Um, what I do is I have um, a 1000 millisecond delay on my mic that we um, showed you how to set up before. So I want that same exact delay on the video that comes through um, so that everything matches up and it makes sense that I'm talking about what I'm talking about. Um, so that's I use the same thing here um, as I do my audio d d delay. Um, and then for audio here, we want to use the device audio so that we actually get sound from the Elgato. And very important, we want it to be set to um, output audio to stream only. Um, and we, we can offset this if we want to, but I do not. So that is it for um, setting up the device. Um, you would just hit OK. And um, then that would come up as a, a source in your stream. So from there, you can start streaming, stop streaming, recording, yada, yada, yada. So um, yeah, hopefully that helps. Um, I know it took me a while to get um, the party audio from PS4 with my audio and then also be able to listen to it in my headset. So I'm glad I figured that out and um, I'll show you a clip right after this of everything working um, as it should. So thanks guys. Bye. Hola. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy's streaming another AI, AI monster. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that'll be fun. And then my arms also grenade hits restore melee, melee energy. So my helms and my arms both have that. So every grenade hit is going to make my melee energy go up, which I'm going to have a ton of... I already have max strength, too. Right. 